So array is an important data structure to understand as it helps solving a lot of algorithm problems. As you might know, using the right tool for the job saves a lot of time. For this video, we're going to go over the different ways to create them in JavaScript, the different types and how you can create arrays out of something else. My name is Alson Correa with be first my column. Let's get to it. Think of arrays of being list of things numbered from zero to infinity. The list can grow and shrink as you add or remove things. You can access any item as long as you know their position, manipulate them, move them around, sort them, and organize them as you wish. That is what makes arrays such a powerful data structure built for quick read and write. JavaScript gives us the array object, which is the parent of all arrays, and as a parent, you can use that to create an array. You just need to instantiate it like this, but I came to find out you don't actually need the new keyboard, but it does not hurt. As you see here on the right, the array is represented with the open and close square brackets, and we can actually use that notation to create arrays. Both ways will create an array, but the second way is the more popular choice among developers. With the array object though, I can set a single parameter, which just tells it how big the array needs to be. In this case, six. This creates an array of six empty slots. By the way, you can get the size of the array with the length property, and you can't iterate over an empty array, even if it has a length. We're going to talk about iterating arrays in another video in this series. If we pass more arguments, these are interpreted to be the items you want to initialize your array with. You can accomplish the same thing with the bracket notation. What we just created is known as unidimensional array, simply an array of things. We can also create multidimensional arrays, which simply are nested arrays. If we change all the items here to also be arrays containing each three numbers, we get a bidimensional array. And if I format it just right, you can see it. This is great if you want to represent a tic-tac-toe, chess, or sudoku board, for example. If we go ahead and make these items to also be arrays, we get a three-dimensional array, which is great to represent a Rubik's Cube, for example. The more you nest, the harder it is to work with, so be careful. As you may have noticed, populating these arrays in declaration can be a little tedious, and we often use other techniques for that. Let's say I want an array of a thousand or one million items. I can use the array object to do that, but the items would be empty. To populate it, arrays in JavaScript comes with the fill method I can use to fill the array. The fill method takes the item you want to fill the array with and an optional start and end index to populate it at. Pretty much a range. By default, it fills the array start to finish. The limitation with this approach is that every item will be the same thing. To change that, I would like to introduce you to the from method, which creates an array from an array-like or iterator. The power of from comes in the second argument, a function that gets called for every item. Because the first argument can be an array-like and arrays are objects in JavaScript, I can set the object with a single property of length and it will create an array of that size. Then I can use the function to populate the array using its index and therefore get a number array easy like that. I can also create an array from strings, map, set, other arrays and iterators. I encourage you to look them up and subscribe to the channel so we can talk more about them. There you have it, the power to create array like a champ. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.